Welcome to another edition of Celtic Spotlight here on the Carlos Sports Network. I'm Sean Myers, joined by twin sisters Madison and McKenna Lampy. Madison on the right of the screen wearing the glasses and McKenna on the left. Thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate taking the time. How are you guys doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Got a lot of good questions. Uh, some that will both have you answer and then some that uh, you will answer individually. So we'll start with Madison. And Madison, uh, you bat and throw right-handed while your twin does both left-handed. So how did you guys end up opposites in that regard? <clears throat> um, back when we played t-ball, which was, I don't know, when we were like five, um, I was doing just fine with like being right-handed and my dad and like the other coaches thought McKenna was right-handed and were trying to like force her to like throw right-handed and it just wasn't working and they were so confused why it wasn't working and it didn't hit them that she was left-handed and and no one really was like left-handed in our family so like it was kind of the first so yeah it just kind of happened. <laughs> uh, McKenna you and your sister typically bat back to back in the lineup at least every game that I've seen you have top of the order number one and number two spots so how have you sort of developed a strategy for that scenario because I'm guessing that was the same deal back in high school even yeah it was I'd say it's probably because we're both pretty fast and we're good at getting base hits getting on base being aggressive on the bases and I guess it was kind of like the ideal situation for coaches like to kind of get like a head start almost. Do you, do you guys have a preference on who goes first and who follows? Is this kind of, has it switched around throughout time? Yeah. In high school, I was usually first and like, this is the first year in a long time where she was actually first and it, it kind of got switched around. So it's a, it's a kind of a little different, but I, I think it works. Madison, uh, freshman year obviously did not go as planned. Uh, you got about a dozen games in before the season was cut short. So how did you and your sister sort of work on your skills without really having a lot of game action last year? Um, just at home. Um, we have like a kind of a pretty big yard, so it was easy to like get some hitting in or put up a net and hit off a tee or just even throw or – get ground balls, pop-ups, like kind of just practicing and working out kind of at home. Um, yeah, since we couldn't really go anywhere else. McKenna, uh, it was sort of a slow start this year for Carlo collectively, but the Celtics are playing maybe their best softball at the right time down the stretch. So in your opinion, what have been the biggest factors in the conference success recently? Um, I'd say team bonding and coming together as a team building team chemistry because last year we didn't have a season so we couldn't really like kind of like mesh together and kind of work in sync with each other so I think team bonding and trusting each other and kind of being more like a family instead of just teammates I think that those were pretty big factors I want to get uh, both your answers on this. We'll start with Madison first. What individual goals did you set for this season? Um, I wanted to limit my defensive errors and become more vocal while being on the field. Um, also, I wanted to have like a good high, like a high on base percentage. I mean, I don't really check the stats, so I really don't know what it is. But yeah, that was kind of like the goals I had. And mine were kind of similar, but I also said that I wanted to do my part for the team and fulfill my role and play my role and just be the best I could be for the team. Madison, uh, what led to your decision initially to attend Carlo University? Um, the high school we went to was really small. Our graduating class had 56 uh, students. So Carlo is kind of a small campus, so it kind of felt like home. So it was really hard not to choose Carlo. And the class sizes are small and all their programs are like good. Like McKenna wants nursing, nursing program is nice. Same with the criminology program and RTC is at Pitt, which is right down the road. So 
And sort of playing uh, along the same lines, McKenna, did you always consider yourself and your sister sort of a package deal in terms of when you're looking at colleges or did you explore separate paths? Um, I think because most of our li lives, we've been pretty similar and did the same things. So um, we were really like, I wouldn't say like a package deal because she eventually like went a different path, but it was pretty similar the whole way. So I think Carla was able to like fulfill both of us. So yeah. you had mentioned before, you actually have different majors now, both started in nursing, but talk about what your majors are currently and then ideal future professions. We'll start with McKenna on this one. So I am a nursing major and I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet, but I'm like stuck in between either pediatrics or like going back to school to become a midwife. And I'm a criminology major with a psychology minor, and I would like to possibly get into like a counseling job or maybe a probation officer. But I also thought about trying to work, get a job in like the FBI. So uh, you you've already alluded to uh, ROTC. You both do that. So one weekend every month. What has that experience taught you? Uh, the ROTC experience has taught me how to be more of a team player, how to work with other people that um, have different ideas and like how to take opinions from other people and to always pay attention to detail because the little things like always matter. McKenna, back in high school, uh, you and your sister were terrific in softball, obviously, winning a lot of championships, also outstanding in basketball. So was there any consideration to playing basketball at this level for you? Uh, yes, and also cross country. Um, and Carlo mentioned something to us about playing basketball, and uh, I felt like it would have been kind of difficult to juggle like nursing and two different sports, ROTC and stuff like that. So I just kind of chose which one that I kind of enjoyed more, and it would that happen to be softball. This one will be for both of you. We'll start with McKenna. Fondest memories during your time at West Green High School? Um, I'd say my fondest memories would be uh, like put, kind of putting West Green on the map and like getting our small school recognized. And another big one for me was hitting for the cycle at the state championship my junior year. Uh, my fondest, fondest memory at West Green was just playing all the sports, being involved with everything, all the championships, all the wins, uh, winning records, and just everything with sports. I was <clears throat> on the Carlos softball broadcast recently talking with my partner, Josh Roundtree. We tried to remember, you won the WPIAL softball title all four of your years? Yes. And you appeared in two basketball championships? Yes. yes. Okay, not too bad uh, throughout <laughs> your careers then. Madison, I'm going to give you a sort of a hypothetical here. You can change any one role about softball. What would it be? I would say either changing like the run rules or that way like you have to play seven innings no matter what. Um, or the rule where if you have two strikes and you buy and if it's foul, you're out. Like I feel like you should be able to bunt with two strikes and still be okay. <laughs> that would work in, in favor of both of you. Very talented bunters and, and certainly can get on base that way. McKenna, do you go with uh, water, a sports drink, or something else when you're playing softball? Uh, I'd say mostly water, but I also kind of every once in a while have like Gatorade. Okay, I don't want to be forcing <laughs> you guys to give up all your secrets here. But I, I've heard stories, um, there's a pair of twins in the NBA right now, the Morris brothers, and they were telling a story recently that in high school, they would switch places to take tests. And one was really good at uh, a certain subject like math. The other one, for instance, was good at science. So whenever there was a science test, the same brother would take for both. And then the other brother would take the math test for, for both. So have you to ever switch places unbeknownst to other people? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. It, w- it wasn't no. intentional. People would just mix us up on accident, and it kind of we kind of just, like, would go along with it because we knew what they meant. So, I don't know. So, we never specifically switched places to have people, like, mix us up or to take tests for each other. Um, but, yeah, it was always unintentional. <laughs> well, well, now your hair is enough different that you could sort of distinguish. So, it would you would have to go back to sort of being looking identical to do that right yeah right okay (laughs) all right so i got some rapid fire and whoever wants to answer can it's sort of you know who's who's the better of the two for for the following (laughs) questions so between you two who is the faster um i think i think probably me yeah we're both pretty fast but i'd say mckenna's probably a little faster Okay, who is the stronger of the two? Um, I don't know. I'd say it's probably about the same. Yeah, I'd say it's probably about the same. I mean, you can do, like, more push-ups than I can. Yeah, I'll I'll say me. I was going to say, ultimately, I feel like you two need to have a competition. um, Mm -hmm. You know, maybe Carlo can make a big deal out of it. You can run (laughs) a race, then you can do push-ups or whatever. Uh, just to, to kind of go through, I think that would be just incredible to, to witness. I'm sure you're both terrific students, but who is the better of the two? Um, I'd say I'd say you're better at like studying and like keeping up with like I don't know homework, but I I don't know. Yeah. I don't know who it has the higher GPA. <laughs> I don't know. What was yours? Was it like a 3.2? or Yeah, I think mine was a like a 3.2 too. <laughs> so I'd say we're probably about equal. And for this. Have you taken mostly the same classes or are you already now sort of diverging with the separate majors? Yeah, this, this spring semester was kind of the first we've been separated like with classes. So we pretty much had like the same classes since freshman year. So, yeah. Who has the better singing voice? Oh God, <laughs> we're both horrible. Yeah, <laughs> we're not. We're not good. Not good at all. <laughs> None of the above for that one. <laughs> all right. I don't know if uh, if you guys are big eaters or not. Um, if you were to have a contest, who would win between you two for an eating contest? Um, I'd say it depends on like what the food is. If it's ice cream, I got it. So, <laughs> or it's like pizza it. or something. I got it <laughs> definitely. Okay, so so yeah. Madison wins the ice cream and McKenna wins the pizza eating contest. All right, last one for you. This one I think you both should be on the same page on. Who is the older of the two, and by how much? She's I am older, and the what I've heard is that they rounded it to a minute. So I just tell people it's been a minute between us. So. Okay, I was expecting like you know five minutes, ten minutes, something like that. So it was, it was a photo <laughs> finish almost. Yeah, yep. pretty quick. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate you taking the time, and good luck the rest of the way throughout the softball season. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you for having us. That is Madison and McKenna Lampy here on the Celtic Spotlight.